Hi and welcome to today's post of Supervision Month and my supervision model. Today we're going to be talking about Stoltenberg, Stoltenberg and Delaware's developmental model. So again, I'll give you bullet points and then if you want to read further, you can visit my blog and read more of what I've written in there because I've gone more in depth in my blog post. So Stoltenberg and Delaware's uh, state that there are four levels of development and support when training as a counselor. So there's the beginner, intermediate, advanced and master counselor. And the ways they assess where each person is, what level they are in, is through checking their motivational levels, checking their level of awareness of self and clients and supporting them in developing this awareness, as well as checking what whether the supervisee is moving to more levels of autonomy or is, is the supervisee more dependent on the therapist or, or the supervisor rather, and how to move them forward in their practice. Do they need more CPD, more development, more reading, more tasks, more supervision maybe? This is all, all the things that they will discuss in supervision. And the things that the supervisor is aiming to develop are skills and intervention, skills and competence, assessment techniques, interpersonal assessment, client conceptualization, individual differences, theoretical orientation, treatment goals and plans, and professional ethics. So all these areas are, are considered and spoken about in relation to the therapy work that the supervisee is doing. So in a nutshell, this is what Stoltenberg and Delaware's model talks about. Check out my blog post if you want more information on each of these areas because I've gone more in depth. And I will see you again tomorrow for our next post. See you soon.